creating artwork inspired by the beauty of the Low Country. Elementary, middle, and high school students across the district are working on artwork they'll be submitting for this year's River of Words. The book is a collection of student paintings, drawings, poems, and more, highlighting the local environment and wildlife. Here at Hilton Head Island School for the Creative Arts, some fourth grade students are bringing sea creatures to life using printmaking. I made a starfish. The reason why is I find them really interesting, the technique they use to protect themselves. So if a predator comes up and eats one of their legs, it would later on just heal and pretty much just grow back. And it's really cool how that happens. I drew a sandworm because it looks cool and I just like the way it looks. Over at Buford Middle School, some art students are working with an artist in residence on Zoom to create their artwork. We're doing a collage, so we had to pick three colors and we did the first one, which was our base color. And then the second one, we chose two different colors and we had to like mix them. And the third one, we had to take all three and kind of just like collage them together. I chose a jellyfish because they're my favorite animal right now. And I like how tentacles are different colors and sizes and shapes. Mine's about seabirds and created because I like watching birds dive bomb for fish. It's pretty cool. To help inspire students this year, the Port Royal Sound Foundation and the Coastal Discovery Museum produced videos kids could watch to see local wildlife, and the Art Center of Coastal Carolina, as well as the Pat Conroy Literary Center, provided additional online materials for students. It's just a really great opportunity for our students to feel accomplished to really get recognized for their creative expression and it also helps a lot of them aspire to be illustrators and authors one day. Students in 10 schools from across the district are creating submissions for the book. The artwork is due in March and the River of Words will be published in April. For the Beaufort County School District, Ron Lopes.